This video will explain the process for taking a soil sample in your field or garden plot. First, you will need to gather a few tools. A soil probe will be your best option for taking soil cores. If you do not have a soil probe, soil cores can be taken with a spade, shovel, knife, or auger. You will need a bucket to collect the cores. The bucket not only serves as a way to carry soil cores, it is also a good container to mix all of the samples together. Finally, you will need the Ag Soil Sample A form. This is available at your county extension office or online. You can also find contact information for your county extension office online. Now that you have your tools together, you're ready to collect soil cores. Use your probe, spade, or auger to collect soil cores. The depth at which you take the sample will depend on the site. If the area has been tilled conventionally, meaning the soil has consistently been tilled in every year prior to planting, you will need a deeper core sample. This depends on the depth of the tillage. If you till about eight inches deep, then you need about a six to eight inch sample. If the area you are sampling has not been tilled, such as a pasture or a no-till field, the core will only need to be about three to four inches deep. With soil sampling, the more core samples you have, the better. Plan to collect a series of soil cores throughout the area you are sampling. The University of Kentucky recommends 30 cores representing fields larger than five acres. After collecting all of the soil cores, thoroughly mix the samples. A fine granular structure is what is required to run the soil sample test. Then pour the homogenized mixture of soil in the sample bag provided from the county extension office. Your own bag or container may be used temporarily to transfer your soil sample to your extension office. There, they will provide you with the proper collection sample bag for laboratory processing. The paperwork that accompanies your soil sample is required for processing at the UK Regulatory Service Testing Lab. It is important to fill in as much detail as possible for accurate measurement and results. If you have further questions about taking and submitting a soil sample, the information is online. These University of Kentucky publications are located on the College of Agriculture's website. You can also contact your Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service office for assistance or questions on soil sampling. Information needed on the form are as follows. Section 1. Producer name, address, phone number, and the size of the field that soil tests will be taken from. Section 2 indicates what tests to be run. Select Routine Soil Test. Section 3A is where you record the crop history of the field. Section 3B identifies current crop management. Section 4, Fertilizer and Lime History are recorded. Section 5A is for tobacco production only. Section 5B allows you to indicate the soil drainage that best describes the site. Sections 6 through 9 are for county and lab use only. After completing the form, submit both the form and sample to your county's extension office. Many counties require you to pay a small fee to process the samples. You will receive results back in about two weeks. Results for each nutrient recommendation is reported in pounds per acre. The recommendations provided for each nutrient are a result of information in publication AGR1. All information on your results show up in the boxes at the bottom of the form. Every report comes with comments about the extractions used in the laboratory process as well as information on fertilizer scheduling or any other information regarding your crop.